With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Oh, ooh, I'm with a beautiful woman here, apparently. Yeah, but you know you don't fire. This is, we should be better at this. The other hosts are going, they sucked. They're not good at all. What's your name, sir? Oh, my name is Fanny Featherwatham. Featherwatham? Featherwatham. Of I'm the from New York Featherwathams? <laughs> no, from London. Oh, cunt. <laughs> we should be better at voices, uh, <laughs> podcasting, fatherhood, being husbands. I mean, you name it. And using the word cunt. Cunt. <laughs> Actually, no, we're pretty good at that. I, well, I want to live in. I want to live in London just to be able to say that word. Where it's not as yeah. like it's still offensive, but it's not as offensive. Not offensive. Yeah, yeah, you're just a cigarette. cigarette. Yeah, that's why I want to live in London. Just so yeah. I say cunt. I mean, fag. you do always say how much you like fags here, though. Stop it. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. My uh, name's Chris Donovan. And I'm Eric Leckie. <laughs> this is We Should Be Better at This. What'd you think of my intro song? Even uh, though I was the, messing the, it the, all the, up. The theme song from uh, National Lampoon's at, uh, what is it, Vacation. All, uh, da, da, da. National Lampoon's Vacation. Right. National Lampoon's Vacation. The I think that's by uh, Lindsey Buckingham, from the guitarist from Fleetwood Mac, is who I think that's from. Really? Yes. Are you making that up? Because no. it sounds like it. No. Okay. No. Well, I mean, all words are made uh, up. But all nice words are effort. technically made up. Uh, but no, but it's, uh, <laughs> once again, it's appropriate because uh, it's been vacation season for you. You are a man on a mission. Are you trying to hit all 50 states? or is that- Actually, I've, I've hit, okay, I'm going to start. Okay, we left California, went to Washington, drove through Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, Back to California, and then we stayed in California and went to Yosemite. So I've done pretty well. I You've mean, done pretty well. My kids are going to be like, we hit seven states during our summer. Other kids are going to be like, I went to McDonald's. <laughs> so I'm proud to be able to do that. Situations have uh, laid them out this way that I get to do it. But yeah, uh, yeah I got only like three or four well, more vacations about. left. You, you, went, you just went uh, camping, right? I did. We went to Yosemite and almost died from getting a getting eaten by a bear. Really? Yes, you didn't hear this story. I did not hear, this, did story. Not hear this story. Okay. Okay. So Tell me the bear eating long story. Long story short, <laughs> if you want to hear the short version or the long version of the story, go to my other podcast, Conversate With Us, which I do with my wife. Go to thisisfunner.com. Everything's there. So podcast. if the bear eats you, does he get to be on the sh- e- Conversate I mean, With You? I mean, <laughs> spoilers. Like, like as you're getting alive. eaten, you're like, uh, hold on a minute, bear. I got to get this podcast <laughs> right? ready. Let me interview you real quick. How do I taste? <laughs> right? How was that... Is that is, like a is ham the ambiance good? Like, is, <laughs> oh, the, are the toe bones too like <laughs> spiky? Uh, but no. Uh, but uh, spoilers: my wife and I are still alive, and I didn't. Okay. I didn't cancel. The yeah, podcast I was. So I don't have to ask. Know. Did you guys die? No, okay, no, we good. did die. But but long story short, we'd gone to this campground for nine years. We haven't seen a bear since year one. I haven't seen any bears. Heard about them. Missed them the day before. Left and went looking for bears. Came back. Hey, there was one on your front porch. Like literally, that's happened. Wow. So we saw. Uh, Wait, are these like little houses you stay in, or is this like real? Uh, it's a campground, so real it's like camping. a combination of like full cabins, small cabins, trailers, uh, and ah, then tents, which nice. is ridiculous. You don't do. I don't. I'm doing tents. Wait, you say Yellowstone or Yosemite? Yosemite. Oh, okay. So in California, still, but where lots of bears get lots of garbage to eat. You so you saw a bear. Uh, this is where you should insert the uh, Hey Boo Boo. Hey, All I want is a picnic basket. Hey Boo Boo. Would you like to see it in my picnic basket? And the uh, '80s want your joke back. Hey. <laughs> All right, so, on. so you had, so you had a bear, uh, and so yes. Yeah, so I mean, that's by the way, that's pretty scary. Like, not no. something you want to. You want to see oh, nature on food? those things, but you not. I did. You ordered food. Nice. I did order. Can I food. get another one of these, please? Thank you. Thanks. So, long, let me do the short story first. Short story is um, that we saw a bear. 
during the day one day, that night, everybody's in bed except for myself, my oldest daughter, and my wife. We're standing by the campfire. My oldest daughter just pours water onto the fire. And then we're, they're sitting there singing Coldplay. So, of course, I was pissed off. Yeah, no wonder the bear attacked. Yeah. <laughs> so then as soon as we hit the, the chorus, I jumped in as a smartass. You move. And I look over to the right, and I see the bear's eyes and its head. Oh, my goodness. In, the, in like, the darkness? Oh, yeah, because the fire we just poured out. So it was, like, smoldering. So it was, like, watching and away. waiting the oh, whole time? Oh, it Jesus seemed like Christ. it because, again, long story. You want to listen to it, go to thisisfire.com. And Eric just burnt himself. But the bear was that close, and I stopped. And I'm like, get inside now, bear. And then my kids were already inside. They got, they jumped up. We, we slammed the door. And they're like, what's going on? And then instantly the little ones ah, start crying. So well, thank God that you had was a the, cabin, by the way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, if you had a tent. I, we only sleep inside the cabin. All the food's out, or all the food's inside and we sleep inside. But other than that, we live outside. But yeah, it would have. It was, oh man. It was two hours of watching the bear after that. So we had fun. We saw a bear, got really close, almost died. We're going to go back next year. <laughs> you're going to go back next year and yeah. like rub yourself in like barbecue sauce and yep. just, uh, try and get them back? Or yep, what? that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we, we, what we do is we hang pine cones with put peanut butter on it for the squirrels. It's like an outdoor Gravitron. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, they have fun doing that, but apparently it attracts bears too. I wasn't aware. Well, I was aware, but whatever. Anyway, it's fun. Yeah, that was, that was my one fun camping week. And you, got, um, you were gone for the whole uh, like a week. Yeah. And they don't have they don't have service there either, so it's nice. Yeah, and you got to kind of get away from all the, the tech stuff and all that. Yeah. So, uh, w- uh, would you say camping is worth it? I, I'm still in the infancy stages with my family and camping. We've done it twice. Okay. Once was just so much work involved. Yep. That I'm like, why why do people camp? We've invented like hotel rooms. Yeah, no, no, no. And then the second time we went, we rented one of those uh, vans that has everything in it. Okay. Uh, like a, like a kitchen. It's like a really, it's a van, but yes. like a motorhome in a van yeah. uh, where you sleep there and it comes Pretty with all the stuff. You do everything outside. Yeah, and then you just do everything outside. And that was a little bit more enjoyable, but I haven't really found my groove yet with camping well, with the family. Well, the place where I go, which I'm not telling anyone because my wife will kill me, they have uh, they have trailers set up. So all you got to do is literally drive your truck up, empty the bags out of the truck or the tubs or whatever, and you're th- you're done. You're d- good, which we really love because then they have Is rustic. there a lot of other people there? There's not a lot of people. It's actually pretty scarce. Where all the, we, the rustic cabins where we stay, where we sleep inside, our food's inside, but we live outside. We cook outside. We do everything outside. So that's where we stay. So it's nice. You pull up, you empty your truck, and that's it. You don't got to set up a tent. You don't got to level out a trailer. You don't got to hook it up to water. You don't got to make sure you yeah, plug see, in. Yeah, and see, it's, it's all that extra it's hassle work. that is yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like hotel, except that you get to pull right up to the front door. So while you were gone, you obviously didn't miss some news, but some of the mo- news was not, uh, let's say, missable by you because everyone felt it. And I'm I talking about the it. earthquake. I you did not feel it. Feel no, it. We were. It was. It was already late, and I was probably drunk. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, honest. we had we had two we had two good ones, two good shakes. It was yeah. obviously the big news. Um, and we, you know, I know you're a native Washingtonian. I think is how I've we lived say here it. longer now. You've lived here a long time, so uh, you're you're you haven't experienced too many big earthquakes, no. but you've been here for enough. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't get you too nervous. Uh, the first one hit on July 4th, uh, midday, around 10 a.m. It yeah. was a 6.4. That was just a fireworks factory exploding in Mexico. <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> the family and I were at Knott's Berry Farm when that one happened. Oh, what ride were you on? Uh, we were e- exiting what used to be called Bigfoot Rapids, uh, but now it's called... Like, oh, so you I don't just know, got off a ride. We had just gotten off okay. a ride, and we were walking to the next ride. We felt... You know, a little rumble, but it, it, we were like, eh, it's a small one. Did they close the rides down? They did. They have to go through and they check They have everything. to go through the check. That's which, why I'm like, you just got off one. You're good. Yeah, but <laughs> but then we went to go. We were only, our tactic is we just go to Knott's Berry Farm for a couple of hours yeah. and then go home. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like, go, cheap. ride a couple of things, go home. Yeah. Well, you know, we had driven all the way there and you're kind of like. That was the first ride? We had just ridden one ride. <laughs> so we drove all the way there. So they closed it down for a while. We oh, waited around a while. But, what? but you know, it was one of those things where you feel it and you're like, nah, that was nothing. No big deal. And then you start looking at Twitter, and you're like, oh, 6.4, that's pretty good size. Yeah. But it was far away. 74 like, miles deep, right? Yeah, it was super, it was. super deep, which yeah. is killing. Which, that's what muffles it and everything yeah. like that. Well, the next day, uh, uh, so that turned out to be a pre-shock. Not an, uh, uh, there yeah, was, wasn't even that was the, the earthquake before the earthquake. Yeah. So the next day, uh, family is out. I, uh, of course, as we've mentioned on this podcast, I live across the street from my mother, which has benefits and pluses. One of those pluses is she has a pool and a jacuzzi. Oh, yeah, that's a good plus. Right. Family was gone and out. I said, and mom's on vacation somewhere. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go across the street, hop in the jacuzzi, hop in the pool. So I hop in the jacuzzi. Then I'm going to hop in the pool. I'm in the pool, and the the dog takes off and runs. 
like runs away. Oh wow! Like, oh, that's interesting. Your dog? Like, pretty chill dog. My mom's dog. Yeah, oh, kind of chill cares? dog. Like run, took off, run. Like what's that about? Then a bunch of birds fly overhead and they're oh, leaving. Wow. I'm like, that's interesting. Then I start feeling water splashing in my face. Dude, did you fart? No. Oh, okay. Keep going. <laughs> but water splashing in my face. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on? The water was splashing up against the side of the pool and hitting me in the face. I had no idea it was an earthquake. I just, the you, water was sloshing around. You were having a Matrix moment. You're like, and I'm having, uh, uh, red pill. what's going on? I'll take the red peel. Exactly. <laughs> so I hurriedly got out of the pool. Oh, right? And it was one of those ones where you're like, you, you, you know how when an earthquake first starts, you never quite know if it's going to be a big one or not? Because the, right. the beginning is never hard. It's no. always a soft beginning. Yeah. And it builds. Well, I felt that soft beginning, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, here it comes. But <laughs> You're it's, like, I don't want to get flushed like it, a turd. It was one of those ones, though, I'm an experienced native Californian. I'm experienced with this. Did it scare you? It was not scary, but it was, I knew it had to be a big one far away. It ha- like, you could tell by the way it felt because it was gentle. Yeah. But it lasted a really long it was, time. It was the outside ripples you got. You it got was a really uh, strong outside ripples. Yeah, exactly. When we were driving back from Yosemite, we literally were driving past news vans going to Ridgecrest. Right, which right is insane. Yeah. I mean, the, you saw the pictures of like the, just yeah, the, the roads. Day. I mean, that was insane. We were going to take a detour, but it was late in the day. We didn't want to do that when we get home. But yeah. Um, Did it hold you up at all? On the way no, back? no, not at all, really, actually, at all. The freeways looked fine. I know they had a couple major roads in Ridgecrest that were uh, damaged and they had to close down. And our one of our acquaintances has a house in Lake Isabella, and they were stuck out there for a day, I think, before they could come back. But, yeah, n- well, nothing I mean, crazy. Uh, so that second one was a 7.1, which that's a serious earthquake. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, no, that's a kind big. of – But if you were picking a spot in California for an earthquake to hit, yep. you would have picked this spot. You would have said, I want it deep in the earth so it's muffled. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I want it really out in BFE, yeah. California. I want it in Ridgecrest where it's not by any ridge. Like, literally, <laughs> I think in that entire area that the earthquake hit was like 20,000 people. Like, yeah. that's it. Like, I literally was in a town where population was 298 when I was getting gas. We were talking to the guy. So, yeah, no. I mean, that was fun. We didn't feel it uh, when we were camping. It's, again, probably because I was drunk. But uh, Would, I it, would it have before. freaked out your kids? No, no, no. My kids pretty much know. Really? Yeah, they're, they're, they'll just run to us. What they do is they run to us. As soon as they know they're us. And our house is small. You've seen our house. It's yeah. very small. So there's not a whole lot of running that has to happen. It's like, one, two, three. Okay, oh, there. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> when, so. uh, when do you think, here in SoCal, when do you think we should actually care about quakes? Because we take it in Never. stride pretty well. Like, Never. When is well, it no, that's not like, true. We care about them every day because they're making all these building codes and they're doing all these things in school. They're having their quake day. So that's pretty much all you can do. You never know when it's going to hit. You can just hope that that big rock on that hill that you're climbing just doesn't on that day doesn't, <laughs> doesn't fall on you. Now, what about when the earthquake's actually happening? Because my, my theory has been if it's, a, if it's under a 4.5, I don't even care. That's when you get that meme online where it's like the, the one plastic lawn chair falling over and the other three are standing up and it's like, we will rebuild. Yeah. No, it's, if, if it didn't damage anything, don't, don't talk about it. Yeah. Everyone seems to free. It's and like when you slap your wife, you know, you don't slap her that hard. No, I then just enough to let her know who's in charge. That was rough. I'm going to really make sure I write that down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, my other complaint when it comes to this earthquake thing is, okay, watching the news coverage of it. First it's of all. It's just a piece of paper. Okay, go ahead. Okay. No, well, first of all, <laughs> okay, I love it when they interview the people from Caltech because oh, they're yeah. full of information. And, and, and growing up in California, I've seen the same uh, Lucy... Oh, gosh, what's her name? Lucy Jones okay. is the one at Caltech. She, I've seen wow, her ever since I was growing name? up. Yeah, because wow. every time there's an earthquake, she's on TV telling you about it. Okay, these reporters ha- ask the same stupid questions oh, yeah. every time, which is dumb. Second of all, when they're showing news footage, all they ever show is someone who took a video of their chandelier moving and swaying right. and someone who took a picture of their pool water kind of slushing. That was court. cool. But the problem is they show that footage on like a loop for about a good four hours. Like, you're telling me you don't have any other video other than a chandelier slightly swaying. Nope. Nobody got shot by a cop. There was nothing going on that night. It was kind of slow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one got oh, shot by a all, all they can show is a piece of paper and a needle jumping back and forth. You're like, oh, cool, this is that person having a, having a spasm. Oh, no, this is an earthquake. The only really cool thing I heard about the earthquake when they were talking about it at Caltech. Really heard a cool thing? I heard a cool thing. Okay. The Richter scale, um, you know, these uh, these machines, uh, seismographs, are really sensitive, yeah. like really sensitive. Like a loud fart sets them off. Um, Which is why I thought you might have, might have done, done that in the pool. The sensor that is in College Point, New York, felt the earthquake in California. Wow. 
from yes. California. Wow. Isn't that insane? Where's like, College Point in New York? It's like in upstate New York. I was going to say, is but that, that's where that they have the like very a, top they, of the, they, the uh, Sears, <laughs> no. Sears Tower is even there. They, I can't even do the joke right. You can't even do the joke right. <laughs> uh, but no, all the way in New York, 3,000 oh. miles away, it felt the earthquake. It registered on that seismograph. Wow. That's pretty insane. Yeah, no, that's crazy. They were saying it's the it's the crust falling a little bit so the whole plates can move kind of thing, like the dead skin falling off. I guess so, yeah. yeah so just need to exfoliate. We're Earth. just le- we're just like fleas on Earth. Huh? We're fleas on Earth, yeah. yeah. yeah this God, is, like, is that why I itch? Is Earth a testicle? Hmm. Well, it is spherical. It is a round I mean, object. What, are, what else in the world is round like that on your body? Like, I mean, testicle... Boob. The hangy thingy in your Earth can be a boob. Earth could be a boob, yeah. There's Earth boobs could, on the Earth. There are <laughs> lots of them. Yeah. Millions. Like billions. 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 Tr- probably close to trillions yeah. now. And, obvious, and oddly, there's always an even number of boobs. There are. Always. Yeah. There's you know never what, a single boob. You know what? That boob. one person from Total Recall screwed it all up. <laughs> Throw, now it's always one, an odd number. It's always an odd number. <laughs> uh, the other thing you missed, uh, let's talk a little brief sports. The other thing you might have missed while you were gone, sad news locally here and nation, nationwide uh, in baseball, uh, Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs passed away at the age yes. of 27. That was crazy. In a hotel room in Texas, which is not how any of us want to go, in a hotel room oh, in Texas. No, no. At least it wasn't a motel I mean, I'd, I'd die in a whorehouse in Texas, but not in a, a hotel little room. Little one, too. Not a even little a horse. Little that is one. a little tiny one. one. Uh, really, really sad news. Um, the guy was relatively healthy. He had no kind of history of drug use or anything like that. His wife even said things like, no, no, the guy was a pretty clean living guy. Like, this was, he wasn't a partier. He wasn't a whatever. And yeah. this wasn't like he died in some secret, you know, club or anything like that. And he his died in Debbie a hotel room. from Dallas was like, you know, I really don't know what happened. Yeah. He was just like laying there <laughs> and I shook him a little bit and then he wasn't breathing. Yeah, it was really sad. He had just posted Instagram like two hours before he died because the whole team, he got the whole team to wear um, a cowboy attire. Oh, really? Because they were going to, on a Texas road trip. Oh, nice. And so he, 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 like two hours before he died, he posted to Instagram everyone dressed in their cowboy outfits That's and stuff hilarious. like that. And then he died in a hotel room. Really wow. sad. Why did he die? Does anybody know? No, they won't. The, to, to, for privacy reasons, the family does not have a, they're not going to release the autopsy till October. So it has some time to kind of die down. <laughs> that, that way, everybody that honored him at the All Star game the other day yeah. won't feel like. Pissed because it was he got overdosed or something. Yeah, and I, I hope it's not something like that. I mean, you never. I mean, the guy's dead, so I guess it doesn't matter. But it is a sad thing. He literally had just gotten married in December. He had a yeah, new family, sucks. and I he's mean, a young guy. Everything. He seemed like a nice guy and everything. Yeah, so. and he has never seemed to like him. They did just honor him. And uh, actually, speaking of the All Star Game, it was last night. The it American was. League won. Yes, they did. Um, was it six to one final? Uh, something like that. I was like, yeah. S- yeah, or six to two or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Now, uh, the other thing I thought We're was old. funny. We don't even watch the whole game yeah. anymore. Like, I watch oh, the key parts. I gotta get home um, before it's too the, late. I wanna be the everyone had on <laughs> the Tyler Skaggs number yeah. forty-five patches, I saw that. except for Clayton Kershaw. And everyone was wondering what happened to Clayton Kershaw. Why is he not honoring Tyler Skaggs? Everyone else was. It turns out after the game, he was asked about it. He did have the patch on. But they glued the patches on instead of sewed them, and it was cheap glue, and it f- and the patch fell off. Oh, ouch. So everyone was asking him, like, why is he so offensive? He's like, it's to- not my fault. It was a wardrobe malfunction. Yeah. And uh, Justin the- Timberlake's not allowed to perform at the All-Star Game again. That's right. No more. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other thing I thought was kind of funny was um, or interesting, Tyler Skaggs pitched for two teams, the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Angels. Yes. And he wore number 45. Okay. Both of those teams at the All Star break are 45 and 45. Wow! Isn't that crazy? Holy cow! They have the re- record of 45 and 45 at the All Star break, and, and he wore 45 number? for both teams. That's creepy. Isn't that kind of crazy? Yeah. Uh, the other thing was uh, the Lakers. I know we're not big basketball guys, but the kind of from Michigan, right? Uh, the because that's lakes, the yeah, land of lakes. That's where they're from. Uh, that's where they're from, but they're from L.A. Now they got oh, shit, uh, they Anthony Davis. I need to catch up uh, from uh, Nor- Nolans, New New Orleans. Orleans? And the Saints, uh, Kawhi Leonard, uh, who just won oh. the uh, championship, chose Kawhi. the Clippers. Oh, over well, the Lakers. They're better than the Lakers, so why wouldn't yeah, you? Why would you ever choose the Clippers? Why would you choose the B team over the A team? Why wouldn't you choose the money over not the money? Well, if you would have stayed in <laughs> Toronto, they could, they would have had to pay him 190 million. In order to go to the Clippers, he only can get paid 150 million because of the rules. So he literally just walked Took away from 40 guy. million, and he went from he went to a really high tax state where they're going to take even more. Oh, you think he's going to pay for anything here? Well, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I've seen their practice houses and stuff, and I've seen where they put these people up at. I've seen the parking lots they park in. 
he ain't paying for, he, he ain't paying for nothing. It just it's always strikes me as funny. Like, why wouldn't you go play in a state like Texas or Florida where there's no state tax? You get to keep extra money. It's a low tax state. For a new a new NBA team in Seattle again. Bring the Sonics back. I would. I totally they should totally bring totally. the Sonics back. They like the best Portland uniforms Trailblazers too. Trailblazers are the best. The closest thing. Other than that, it hits Detroit, and then you got to go to San Francisco. And people in Seattle don't want to root for a Portland team. No, they don't. Well, they they will. And and if they're not playing the Sonics, they'll root for them, or they'll they'll root for them, but not if they're playing Sonics. So. Yeah. Anyway. Well, anyways, yeah. that ends our sports segment. So we covered that in great detail. Yeah, we are so good. We at are this. so good at this. <laughs> but you know what else we are so not good I at? Don't know. Rotten Tomatoes game. Let's play it. Oh, 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 oh it's really got me. Hooray, 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 hooray for Hollywood. All right, this is our Rotten Tomatoes game where we pick a theme. And we try and guess what the critics say about this movie on a score. The theme this week, because of the earthquake, is natural disasters. All right, all chick flicks. That's my natural disaster. <laughs> Anything with he Reese expect- Witherspoon. He wasn't expecting a joke that good because he had put a chip in his mouth. And I was choking. <laughs> okay. So these are natural disaster movies um, throughout the past, maybe let's call it 20, 30 years, 20 years. Uh, 20, first up, sure. I'll let you talk about this movie because I know you've talked about it. You know this movie well. Armageddon, which I think came out in 1996. 96, something 96, like Tell us school. a little bit about Armageddon. So Armageddon is that movie where uh, Bruce Willis yells at Ben Affleck and says, Better make your peace with God, AJ! That was actually a pretty good impression. That's, that's pretty good. I know. I've been practicing for years. You don't even know. So, um, But yeah, uh, it's uh, Bruce Willis, uh, Ben Affleck. I mean, it's an all-star cast. you got Owen Wilson in there. You've got Ving, uh, not Ving Rhames. you got... Uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah, Michael Clark Duncan. That's in right. There, uh, um, you got Liv my Tyler. favorite. My favorite character is uh, uh, oh, Billy Bob shoot. Thornton. No, um, uh, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Yeah, where he's like, yeah. I don't want to pay taxes, ever. Yeah, like right. as when they're talking about like what they get in return for going and doing this. Yeah, oh yeah, they all. Th- th- and then he takes out loans from like a loan shark oh, yeah, yeah. and gets strippers. Oh, and at the end of the yeah, at the end of the movie, the stripper's like, Oh, I love you so much because you saved the world. That's so fake. And then, the, like the shark, the card shark, or the, the mob boss is like, "Oh, we'll uh, we'll let that dead go." Yeah, bullshit. Like, yeah, that yeah. never happens either. But he also had the most fun. He's sitting on the uh, meteor. When he's riding the, the rocket, he's like, he's like humping the rocket. He's like cowboy Buscemi. <laughs> uh, you know, that's one of the. This is one of those movies that is so cheesy and stupid, oh, it's but it's so fun to watch. It's so amazing. It's so fun to watch. It definitely is one of those. Uh, that gets played on TNT oh, like yes. 800 That's times a, a year. TNT movie that, it's and it's a, a three-hour movie if you're in a theater. On TNT, it's like 12. I mean, they've got all those infomercials. <laughs> Commercials about every two and a half minutes. Oh, it's so good, though. Um, super enjoyable movie, but yeah. I have to guess, the critics must have hated this movie, oh, right? I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. sure they hated this movie. Because at the same exact time, Deep Impact was coming out. Right. But now, Armageddon is way more enjoyable than Deep Impact, at least in my opinion. I like it. Yeah. Um, I like the movie... <laughs> Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Forward, prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. It's an enjoyable movie, but if I was going to pick my critics score, yep. I'm going to say right at a 50. You're going to say 50 for I'm your I'm going to say guess. 50. All right. Eric guesses 50 for Armageddon. Okay. The next movie we're going to no, talk about. about, you? What oh, about you? Oh, 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 my guess too. Oh, we're doing four? Okay, we're doing four. Um, sorry, I didn't prep for this. We should we're be not doing the this. pick back and forth. We're going to oh, just do four movies. I, I would say I'm going to give it a little bit more because it did have such star power. It also put Billy Bob Thornton in a light where people were like, he's not a jackass anymore. He actually can't He act. was, yeah, he was kind of, yeah, he was good in it. Yeah. Um, he was probably actually the best actor in that he one. He was really good in it. So I, I'm going to go a little bit heavier, and I'm going to go about a 67. Okay. All right, what's the next now, one? the next movie is a movie... I despise because I thought it was just stupid. Okay. This movie I'm is sure called I love it. The Day After Tomorrow. Oh, John Cusack. I love it. I love John Cusack. Okay. He doesn't say anything, though. The movie was a stupid kind of overall premise. It, I mean, yeah. by the way, whether you do or do not believe in global warming, climate change, and all that, whatever that, I don't care. 
it doesn't happen that fast to just where everything yeah. all of a sudden goes downhill. Also, another problem I have with the movie, it's so freezing cold outside that yes. like things are freezing, but they're in the library, and they're like, oh, let's light a little bonfire. Oh, this is the wrong movie. I'm totally thinking about 2012 oh, or 2012. whatever. 2012. No, no. I think. This, this is the is, day after tomorrow. This is the one Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, that's and, it. And uh, the other dude from uh, Kirk, is it a Russell? No, it's not a Kirk. It's a... Uh, uh, Quaid, Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So, I was thinking the other movie. All right, but but like I said, yes. so it's so freezing outside that like like the, everything's going wrong. Everything's they light breaking. a little tiny bonfire yeah. and they're like, oh, I'm so much warmer. That would not warm you up when it's minus 112. Not at all. I mean, but burning books is probably not a good idea either. Yeah, well, but if you're gonna die, I would. Totally, I mean, totally I guess would. so. Totally. But the, I mean, the cruise ship or not the cruise ship, but the but the barge or the the the, the ship that came in the middle of like all the buildings. Did you notice that the wolves were like three times the size as regular wolves? <laughs> Yes. And they're very aggressive. And, yeah, and why all of a sudden are the wolves... It, they're, they're, this isn't like 10 years later and they're starving wolves no. who are feral they're and just like no looking to kill you. This like on. just happened. And they'd probably be dead. They're normal wolves. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're right. They're not like from Game of Thrones. That's right. <laughs> so, okay, okay, so then what's your guess on this one? You know, I'll go first. I, okay, go first. Day, uh, day After Tomorrow, uh, it was good. It was definitely a popcorn flick. It was the uh, it, it was riding the whole train of Armageddon and stuff. I would say probably kind of low. I'd say like 43. I think that's a pretty good guess. Um, man, I'm right there with you, but. We just got to get close. It's not like going over, right? Yeah, no, We're it's not, not going over. Right, right. I, I'm okay. going to go 40. 40. All right. The Age of Wonders. Okay, now. The next movie. Or are we just doing two? We're, we're going to do the, the first four. Okay, okay, the next movie is my da- one of my daughter's favorite movies uh, just because it has sharks and she's obsessed with sharks. This Which movie. daughter? My youngest, okay, Ka- uh, Josephine. <laughs> this uh, this movie features a shark uh, in a tornado. It's called Sharknado, Good and name. it has some wonderful acting from Ian Ziering. Is it you know that Tyra ha- Banks in it? I believe so. Oh. No, not Tyra Banks. No, uh, 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 the blonde one. Yeah, the blonde Banks. The blonde What's Banks. Name? What's her name? Not Elizabeth Banks. Tyler Wilson. Wilson. Ty- Owen Wilson. Wilson Pickett. Tyler Pickett. Tyler Perry. Tyler House of Medea. Medea. What? <laughs> Keep talking. I'll look. Um, to, uh, the one who had the crooked nipple when she yeah, always used to have the she boob had the slips. Crooked nipple. She was in American Pie. Yes, Tara Reed. Tara Reed. <laughs> hey, we got, got there. It. I got it. it I don't need no hand computer. There. <laughs> um, this movie I thought was terrible, but it was like another one of those so cheesy you watch it kind of flick. Yeah. It. Um, it was. Um, it wasn't even a cult classic. It was just like a a, a, a laugh. So it got so many laughs. It just kept going. Now they have like five of them. Yeah, they have, oh, they have done a ton of them. Now, a funny little backstory on this. Uh, Ian Ziering did not want to take the role. He knew it was a stupid role. He thought, if I take this role, no one's, I'm already having Nobody's trouble as an serious. actor. Yeah. You know, he already wasn't getting any acting work. His SAG membership was about to expire, and he need, and his wife was pregnant, and he needed um, he needed benefits. So he took the role so that he would at least Keep have his benefits. To, he have, to, uh, to at least have a SAG card. Wow! Not knowing that it was going to be his biggest hit of his career, and even though it was stupid, everyone was going to now recognize him. Now he's him on nine hundred two one zero, right? He's back on nine hundred two. He was from nine hundred two one zero yeah, right? originally. Yeah. Yeah. So now they're bringing the old cast back, like into a, the new version of it or whatever. I don't know it. I just heard it, and I used to work there, so it was you know so all over the place. Here's a here's a problem I have with these types of movies and like how a critic's going to score them, because these were made for TV movies too. How. How do you honestly judge it? Because it is what it is, right? Like, it wasn't trying to be Gone with the Wind. It was trying to be cheesy. So don't yeah. you grade it on how well it accomplished what it set out to do? It set out to be a cheesy popcorn flick made for TV and with did. horrible special effects, a dumb storyline, and it did all those things it really, really it. well. It killed it, and they made four more, and they even made La Valanchula yeah. with Steve uh, Gutenberg. Wow, Steve Gooden. Getting Lava all the big Langela. stars. <laughs> Getting all the big stars. Anyways, I'll go on this one. I'm right. going to say this one. I mean, this has got to be bottom. I'm going to say critics pan this. I'm going to go 25. Okay, Eric goes 25. Oh, i got to change these. I'm writing them backwards. Sorry. I should, be better, I should be better at this. Uh, I'm going to go way lower than that. Actually, no, I'm going to, for, for the sake of it doing financially okay, I'm going to go a little higher. I'm going to say 31. Okay. All, All right. right. Finally, the, the a movie, movie I have not seen the entire movie of. Okay. It is a movie since we had an earthquake theme here. Okay. Uh, San Andreas with The Rock, Dwayne oh, Johnson. Oh, that's the one with the big big monkey. Yes. The big monkey's in San Andreas, right? I think so. Like I said, I haven't seen the whole thing. Okay, there's I know The Rock's in it. Sure it's not the one where he's on a skyscraper? No, that's a totally different disaster movie that he Really? Did. Yes. So San Andreas is different from Skyscraper. Isn't Skyscraper the one with the monkey? Because I'm kind of confused because they all seem like the same... 
well, movies without it, animals. It is kind of all the same movie. He flexes yeah. his muscles. He says some one-liners. And I it's mean, like him in really fast cars. Yes, and um, Paul, uh, Paul, what's his face? Paul is in Rudd? It? No, not Paul Rudd. Paul Walker? Paul Walker yeah. is in it. <laughs> okay. And they race back and forth. Okay, yes. and they chase monkeys. Yes, that's Or a big wolf, be or a big wolf. Yes, but these wolves are larger than the normal wolf. That's right. And they then are John the... Cusack's in it. That's right. He doesn't say anything. It's just, it's freaking annoying. Anyway, yeah, this movie was all right. It says, in the aftermath of a massive earthquake in California, that can't happen. Uh, Watch it happen cho- right now. <laughs> a rescue chopper pilot makes a dangerous journey with his ex-wife across the state in order oh, to Oh, I've rescue. seen it twice. Okay. Yeah, not I, by choice. Oh, First time I choice. watched it, I was just bored. Second time I watched it, I was just drunk. <laughs> but basically... Wait, it's- you're always one of those two <laughs> things. That didn't narrow it down at all. You're either... <laughs> I was probably both. <laughs> he's really only... One- Folks out there, he's only three things ever at any time. He's either bored, drunk, or horny. Sometimes all three. And, and let me tell you, it makes a rough that. podcast. <laughs> it makes yeah. a really rough like, podcast. Listen to the one where we watch the other podcast. <laughs> all right, so um, what are you, you going right. to score this one? Tell me a little bit about it. I don't okay, know San anything Andreas. about this movie. Basically, uh, it's, it's, it's husband. I am a uh, EMT. I can save you, but I ran the department. Now I don't run the department anymore because I divorced my wife and I had a breakdown. But she got the daughter. Now the daughter's old enough. Oh, great. Oh, look, earthquake. Oh, no, where's the daughter? Let's go save her. She's with her boyfriend. Oh, her boyfriend left. Daddy will save the day. Mommy wants to come, too. All right, let's drive a helicopter. And a boat through a skyscraper. Great. Okay. We all survived. Yay. They live happily ever after. Credits roll. Wow. (laughs) It's like I was there. I, I mean, know. that was really. I mean, it, that rampage and skyscraper are pretty much. Yeah. The from same now movie. on, new podcast, uh, thirty second movie recaps by Chris Donovan. I like it. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one I'm gonna say couldn't have uh, scored very well. I'm gonna say my last score that I said for uh, what was it, Armageddon. I'm gonna say fifty, right in the middle. You're gonna say fifty for San 50. Andreas. Fifty. All right, I'm gonna go lower than that. I'm gonna say like a forty-seven. Okay, are you ready to hear the scores yeah, do you and have attempt down? to do some math? I got it. Okay, here cool. we go. All right. We're, we're Hold on, I got I to scold him. I'll, 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 I'll commentate. So, on Armageddon, going back, Eric chose a 50. I chose a 67 just because of the star power. And the answer is... In 38. Oh, oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> critics did not like that movie. Wow. But you know what, though? That one, come on, critics. It was so much fun to They're, watch. The movie is super fun. They paid oh, so man. much money to make it. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh right. wow. I see some of the other scores. You are going to be so pissed. Okay. <laughs> the day after tomorrow, what was my? What was our uh, guess? Eric picked a 40, and I picked a 43. You and were really damn close. Really? It was a 44. Wow. Look at me. Nice. Okay. Now, this one's really going to piss you off. Sharknado. Eric picked a 25. I picked a 31. Okay. Remember how I mentioned that what can critics possibly want from this? It was what it was, yeah. and, and, and it, it accomplished it. It what it set out to do, which is something turd. stupid, right? Yeah. It was. It set out to be a pile of turd, and it was a pile yeah. of turd. It was just warmer for a long time. Um, this one's going to amaze you. Okay. An 82. Shut the f- really? Yes. Wow. Right. Wow. Wow. That's just got to be because of Now, the you tell me. Let's say right now I'm going to say, Chris, I got this big, gigantic movie screen in the backyard. We're going to have some family over. We're going to put on a movie. You have your choice, Armageddon or Sharknado. Armageddon all day. All day. Because I can recite and it's every almost, line. It's almost <laughs> f- only 40% of what Sharknado got. You know what, though? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty much how much Sharknado made. Over what Armageddon made, right. because if it cost Armageddon ten million to make oh, it, oh, Sharknado cost like what a dollar twenty-five yeah, or something and, like that. Sharknado, you know, cost a hundred dollars to make. They made two million. I think Sharknado <laughs> spent more money on like the poster for the right. for the movie yeah. than they did on the movie. Okay, and then <laughs> the finally, and then guy. finally, San Andreas. <laughs> the graphics guy got like a dollar. The rest of the cast got a penny each. Um, <laughs> San right. Andreas. What were our guesses? Uh, Eric had a fifty, and I had a forty-seven. We were both close again. Oh, San wow. Andreas is a fifty-one. Oh, we're almost. Oh, you got it closer though. That's good. Now we really blew it on Sharknado, and uh, yeah, but y- everything blew on Sharknado. Ah, uh-huh, there you go. So while you do some math to figure out who oh, won, oh, oh, you mean I got to figure out? How yeah, many, you got to figure okay, out who won. Right, make some um, Jeopardy noise or something. Uh, okay, now stop. Okay, that's enough. Um, while you're doing that, I would um, I would like to talk about uh, going to New York City in the heat and how much I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> have you Have you been to New York in the summer? I have not. I've I've only been like. Between seasons. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not looking forward to it. Okay. Every time I look up what it's going to be there, I just think of all the complaining I'm going to hear from my family. Oh, of course. That's what family does, dude. You know that. Yeah. All right. Oh, well. So how are we looking? We're looking like I need to brush up on my math a little bit. Hold on. Uh, 
We are broadcasting today from the Holiday Inn uh, off of Diamond Bar. So if you hear car noises in the back, that is the 57 and the 60 freeway whizzing by. All right, Eric, you have a 74. Okay, that's not very good. No, not at all. But a 70, 80. Four. And but I have, have an 84. Oh, wow. Oh. We, uh, I'm the cream of the crap. You were the cream. That's a great line. Thank you. Patent pending. <laughs> patent pending. <laughs> patent pending. All right, where are we pending. at now? All righty. Uh, do you want to do a little SMRT or a little love hate? Ooh, um, ooh, let's do SMRT. SMRT. I am too smart. I am too smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. All right, tell them a little bit about SMRT while I look up my story here. Oh yeah. So SMRT is the smart stories of the. Actually, it's just what the internet, what we find on the internet. So it's a smart story. Tells us about what people do that are dumb, because you can't sell smart without an ass. Ah, look at that. Wait, wait, huh? No, you can't. <laughs> All righty. Anyway. Um. Hey, AP News. I don't want to read your freaking ad. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about an Alabama woman. Sounds like the beginning to a country song, but no. Um, this is an Alabama woman who had road rage. Okay. Coleman, Alabama. Alabama police say a woman shot her husband Whoa. while attempting to shoot someone else in the act of road rage. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait. Read that one more time, please. Okay. Alabama police say a woman shot her husband okay. in an attempt to actually shoot someone else in the act of road rage. Here's how the story goes. Okay. Two feuding cars driving side by side. Oh, road look, rage. right there, actually. Just, yeah, we can see it from our uh, certain <laughs> vantage point. She gets mad at the car, pulls out a gun from a holster that she has under the seat to try and shoot the car. Yeah. But she's also trying to drive while doing this. Oh, so she's driving and shooting. And shooting. And her husband. Reaches across her husband's body to shoot. He must lean forward or something. She shoots the husband. Now, I think the real moral of the story is never let women drive. <laughs> because as they well, say, female drivers, no survivors. Yeah, she must be left-handed because wow. she had to hold the gun in the right hand. Yeah. But or how do you explain stupid. that to the kids when you get home? <laughs> oh, let's wow. Think, think. Wait, they had kids? They have kids. Oh, wait, I missed yes. that part. Oh, yes. shoot. Um, by the way, I'd Literally. also like to point out she shot him in the head. Well, of course. Yeah. He was getting he out of the leaned way. For, uh, he leaned wherever he leaned was the wrong way to lean. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I my mean, God. There's no coming back from that. It says, you know preacher. It says uh, uh, he did not die, though. But what? he's not going to do very well. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, he's from Alabama, and frankly, he's still probably the smartest guy in the state. <laughs> and or he just upped his SAT score. <laughs> and it's just in he's running for governor next year. <laughs> Uh, so, yo, he is going and to... And his wife is his cousin. Yeah. <laughs> they say that uh, he is going to live, but he is going to, let's see, he's going to need permanent care for the rest of his life. Yeah, well, at least he'll have plenty of time to listen to podcasts. Yeah, I guess so. Or we uh, just... Oh, you hear that right there? That was somebody unsubscribing from Alabama. Ah, jeez. <laughs> uh, we lost all the Alabama contingent. Um, but yeah, so that's our SMS, uh, SMRT story of the week. Women who drive bad enough, but women who drive with guns, even worse. Even worse. <laughs> It serves a husband right, letting his wife operate a vehicle like that. Well, I was just going to say letting Maybe he her was have drunk. a gun. Well, you know what? He did, probably did the most appropriate thing and let the least drunk person drive. Yeah, that's probably what he did. <laughs> you wouldn't he, know anything about that, so would you? He was so drunk. She's like, give me the gun. I'll shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> and by the, so, yeah, I want to know, like, that. besides, uh, I want to know the last thing that went through his mind, you know, besides the bullet. Um, of course. When he was thinking to himself, she's mad, she's waving a gun, let me lean back in my yeah. chair and give her plenty of room. By the way, even if she doesn't hit him, she's firing a gun, like, three inches from his face. Yeah, no, that's going to be loud for one, but two, he was listening to that song, Lean Back, so he yeah. was just dancing. Ah, wow. Well, he was just lean back. Lean back. <laughs> I think I thought he was listening to Move, Get Out the Way. Yeah, no, no, no. no? If he would listen to that, he would have been shot. Yeah, he would have been shot. <laughs> it is Alabama. He'd be doing better, quote, unquote. Whoa. All okay. Right, uh, I think we are ready to move on to the, our listy list. I wonder, wonder who, 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 who wrote the book out loud. Okay, this is the list. If you have not heard the show before, thank you for joining us. This is the magical hour. <laughs> it's the magic. This is where magic happens. Yeah, so the list is basically a list of people that we are allowed to have. Since there are no people in this courtyard, we're allowed to F. Hold on, let me do that. We're allowed to fuck. 
Yeah, no, we're allowed to have sexual relations with, um, because everybody's got a list. I mean, if my wife runs into somebody she that's famous and has lots of money, I'm like, do it. It could set us up for 18 years. So that's that's my whole scenario. Oh wait, we're the other side of that. Okay, yeah, that won't work for us. Anyway, we get a pass. Get a pass. Basically, on our list, Scarlett Johansson, Nev Campbell. We've got Alex Morgan. Yeah, Alex Morgan. Who, by the way, congratulations, yeah. women, I'm, I dominating she wants to be in this segment. Yes, yeah, she does. Absolutely, congratulations, Congratu- um, Alex Morgan. I'm picking you again. Right. All right. So my pick this week. All right. Who do you got to join my list of my all stars? Minus Skaggs, rest in peace. Bryce Dial. Bryce Dallas Howard. Wow, I have not heard that name in quite a long time. Really? Yes. She was in Jurassic World. In Jurassic World 2. I did not see the f- most recent Jurassic uh, and World. And The Town. No, not The Town. She was in The Village. Uh, yeah, no, I just like her. She's. Uh, I, I think I like her mostly because she's... I like redheads, for one. Uh, sorry, Evelyn. Um, but also... Uh, She's not. She's so. She's been in Hollywood so long. She has been there for a really long um, time. Um, that she hasn't gone out and done plastic surgery or any of that shit I, that I know of or that you can tell of. But she, is she she's related really to the, like the Ron Howard family at all. Yeah, she is. She's she's Ron Howard's daughter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's why the red hair and stuff. In so. the show Arrested Development, yes. they have a whole plot line of uh, of uh, them trying to date Ron Howard's daughter, and it was played. Oh, really? But it was played by. Allison Hannigan or something. Yeah, no, it was played like Amy <laughs> Adams or something. Amy like Adams, that. yeah. Who was no, playing Ron Howard's daughter. Bryce Dallas Howard. She was in uh, the uh, uh, Jurassic World movies, and uh, she was in The Village, and she was in a bunch of other ones. Oh, that's right, The Village. Yeah, that's right. But I really, I just, I just think she's a good actress for one and two. She's been so Hollywood that she doesn't have to be Hollywood, and she's not. She's kind of like, so you like simple, the, uh, and, and you it's like nice. it because she's rich, so she could oh, take of care course. of you. Yeah. That's, I only pick rich people. Duh, it's the list. It's the list. All righty. I'm going to pick a name that I did not know until 30 seconds ago. China. No. Japan. No. Tokyo. No. Monique. Oh. oh that's my wife's name. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm, I'm picking. Down, I'm, supposed to. I'm picking Palm Klemtief. Do you know who Palm Klemtief is? Uh, no, and I'm guessing you don't either. Palm Klintyf is the little Asian girl with the little feelers on her head in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh! Because I did not know her name. Mantis. Mantis. Yes. She plays Mantis. Hurry! He's strong! What do you think of my... That good. was not as good as your one from earlier, though. Oh, but yeah. she uh, <laughs> she does out. look totally different. She doesn't look as Asian. No, no. They really make her face, like, flat almost yeah. the way they do it because the antennas kind of pull. But, yes, no, she's uh, she's pretty. She's very pretty. Like she she plays that role really well, she looks white there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she's not. I, I mean, her last name is pa, her name's Palm Clintyoff. I mean, that's Clint, not. I don't even know what that the is. Clintyoffs. Yeah. From Cleveland. Uh, anyways, uh, I like. Claude Street. I like that. So you could be with a woman like that, and no one's gonna recognize her on the street. No. See, even though she's got the rich fame, but she's not gonna be recognized on the street. That would be cool. I was talking to my daughter about that. That'd be the cool thing about being famous or being rich would be not being super famous. So you, you would do would you, you, ra- do would you, you rather be rich or famous though? Would I rather be rich or famous? Right. All right. What well, if you were podcast. What if you were famous but yet you didn't have a ton of money but you're famous? You know, you get into restaurants, people yeah. recognize you, people always, you know, girls throwing themselves you at you all that. Every- or would you rather be rich but no one knows who the hell you are? That's a I'd thought. I'd probably be rich and not know who I am. Yeah. That way I can do whatever and I can pretend like well, I'm sorry I can't afford that. Yeah. And then you go turn around and you buy the whole building. But if you're, <laughs> but if you're famous, you kind of don't even need money. Uh, you're, you're, you're right. But if you're rich and famous, then you never have to spend your own money. Ask I'm, po- I'm poor and no one knows me, so I'm kind of the opposite. Yeah, like polar. Yeah, yeah like opposite. where there's no land in South Pole. <laughs> None. <laughs> there's no land. Uh, well, right, I, th- I believe done. that a bit uh, wraps it up for this week. And uh, so unless you have about another 25 vacations to go on in the next uh, two no, weeks. No, just three. Just three. Just you three. son of a bitch. Look for those. Yeah. Yeah, this is called midlife crisis. Ah, That's yes. what it's called. Well, since I'm so unhealthy, I'm going through my two-thirds life crisis two-thirds? at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm done by 50, sir. <laughs> another fake hip, and that's it. Uh, anyways, I that'll hope you got those life insurance policies lined up. That'll do it for us. Uh, we'd listen for an upcoming another special movie episode that we do have coming out. We've done. Um, we haven't uh, what have we Beverly done so Hills far? Beverly Hills Cop yet. Yes, we have Beverly Hills Cop coming out soon. Yes, because I was on vacation last week. Because you were on vacation and, and you got internet. no internet service. Yeah, so uh, uh, we have, uh, we're going to do Jurassic Park one. We have Jurassic Park yeah, one coming up. So, so uh, listen out for that. And uh, remember to rate and review us. And uh, go to uh, we should be better at this dot 
info? No. Dot com. Dot TV. Dot info. Ah. No, dot, dot BV for dot Bo- You registered in Bolivia, right? Dot CO. No. Right. <laughs> dot dot turkey dot turkey <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> i registered in air country <laughs> but also uh, this is funner.com that takes you to all of our stuff that we do up there um on my network with my wife and eric our shortcut up there is yeah. up there also and social media stuff so yeah all right it. sounds good everybody have a great day bye catch you later hey,